Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Noah. Yeah, um, I know you probably said, Tennessee, where you been? Preparing for a baby shower for my daughter and son-in-law and my new grandbaby. He's coming. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is recording on two different devices. Just in case one stops, I won't lose this video. Um, yeah. So that was Saturday, and um, I got up today, well, Sunday, and said, I'm tired. I think I'll just stay in and not go to church, but mm -mm. I got up and said, you can go everywhere else? Yeah, you can um, certainly go to church and um, praise God. And so that's what I did. Um, and, I, I, you know, I always got these stories, but I'm going to tell you just a little bit. Um, I always use this term, you know, kind of lightly in a humorous way. Ooh, I almost touched the hem of his garment. Meaning, like, I almost hurt myself, and I said, ooh, I almost, you know, I almost left here. And so, I knew it was in the Bible, but I didn't know exactly where. Good thing I went to church Sunday because that's what he preached on. Matthew 14, verse 36. And, uh, you know, I'm going to paraphrase everything for you. And it was talking about faith. Um, you know, how strong is your faith? And, um, you know, he is who he say he is. And if you don't know by now, if Tennessee North don't know at 60 who he is, it's something wrong. Um, when they said that he healed and, um, you know, made the blind see and, and the um, sick, well, well, that's the key word. He didn't say um, that he was, um, you know, doing okay, got him through that hump. No, he said he made them well. And once well is well, that's it. There is no more sickness. You are well. And I said, wow. I didn't think of it like that. Pastor, he taught about that. Once he put his hand on you, or you touched that garment of his, you were well. Not, you know, um, I'm feeling pretty good right now. You know, might come back, but no, you were well. And this goes back to faith. I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just telling you something. See, this is how we do our job as Christians. We are to learn, apply it to our lives, and tell somebody. So, I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just trying to tell you something that I learned. And so, he talked about Peter being in the boat. And the storms, and, and, and Peter was scared. And um, Jesus came to them. And he saw Jesus walking on water. See, Jesus could do that because he is who he say he is. No normal man could do that. Walk on water. And Peter cried out, uh, Jesus, is that you? And Jesus stopped and said, oh, who else could do this? He said, Peter, come to me. Peter climbed out that boat and started walking to God, to Jesus. And he didn't think about it. But as he got closer, he began to think, is this really him? And he started to sink. See, that's called little faith. He stepped out that boat on faith that that was Jesus. But he kind of started doubting. And he began to sink. See, we do this ourselves. 
every day that Tennessee North gets up, it is by his grace and his mercy. Because I got a lot of aches and pains. And I say to my, in my prayers, thank you. My children say, oh, why are you thanking him for aches and pains? <laughs> he didn't have to give me. I am blessed and highly favored that he thought enough to give that to me. Yeah. That could have been on my cooling bed and <laughs> ain't had to feel nothing. Yeah. So when I get up and something has hurt me, most people who know me, I, I'm not a one that sit around and complain. Mm -mm. Because every day I get up, I know I am blessed and highly favored. I know where my help come from. He's my crutch. He's my walker. He's my cane. He's my hover round. Yeah. He, without him, I can't do nothing. Mm -mm. So if I get up and limp to the bathroom, that was his grace and mercy. Yeah. That was his, he was my leaning post. He let me lean on him. Mm-hmm. And help me over there. Didn't have to do it. That's where your faith come in. Every day that you get up, the Lord says, I ain't through with you yet. You my child. I got something in store for you. Yeah. I heard a song that says, if you hear of my home going, don't worry about me. If you hear of my home going, please don't worry about me. If you hear of my home going, don't worry about me. I'm just a soldier on my way home. Hmm. When you have done all that you can do, he's going to reach out his hand. And tell you, come on home. I don't believe he's brought me this far to let me go now. But when he do stretch a hand out and I touch the hem of his garment, he said, come on home. I'm going. I'm going. We all are going. But it's our faith and believe that he is who he say he is. Bad as my back is, and I get up, I have that faith. Because if I didn't have it, I'd be laying there Want somebody to hand me, do me, give me. Because I done gave up. <clears throat> so every day the good Lord lets me open my eyes. I'm going to do what I can to show that I love him. Yeah. Because he shows me every day he loves me. Mm-hmm. Now, he didn't say it was going to be easy or, you know, you ain't got to do nothing. Yeah, no, he's already fought that battle for me. Yeah, he had. He fought that battle. When he hung up on that cross, a blameless man who done nothing, he fought that battle for me. Because that could have been the end. With all the beatings and stuff that they did to him and, and stuck nails in his hand, pierced his side. Anybody else would have said, mm -mm. end it all. Bob, end it all. That, mm -mm. He didn't do that. So every day you open your eyes, 
Let it make sense. Let it make sense. Now, now, I'm not trying to preach or anything. I'm just telling you about something I heard. And how I'm going to try and apply it to my life. I keep getting up. Because he's done much more for me than I could ever do for him. Yeah. Someone sent me something. Uh, Ramona Johnson sent me something. And it said, from a YouTube subscriber, Ramona Johnson. She believed that she could Tennessee Nelf got put these second eyes on. It says she believed she could, so she did. She sent me this bracelet. She believed she could, and she did. I think that sums me up. I believed I could, and so I did. When I get off of that bed and I'm aching, I don't sit around and try to pity myself. I get on up and get it moving. Because I believe that laying there I ain't gonna do it but make it worse. And in order to better myself, I gotta get up and make it move. Make it shake. Do what it do. She believed, she could, and she did. Yeah. So, after that baby shower, or when I usually do um, catering jobs, I'm broke down, but I get up. We fall down, but we get up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I didn't mean to drag through all that, but I wanted to show you the bracelet and tell you a little bit about how Tennessee North is. I don't try to be better than nobody. I don't try to be worse than nobody. I just try to be me. I am who you see I am. I'm just a nobody. I'm trying to tell everybody about somebody. Yeah. And I mean, I got faults too. Oh my God, I got faults. I don't dwell on them. Ain't no need. I just keep working on them. The Lord's still working on me. Man, I got a, he got a lot to do with me. I just keep pushing on. Try to be the best I can. Yeah. So, that being said, I'm gonna tell you about today's meal. And it's really not a meal. I'm making a burger. Yeah. Been at my uh, daughter's school all day and I'm tired. And I came in here, I was gonna make some ribs and uh, mister, the boys. They say, just make us a burger. And you think I ain't gonna make that burger? Yeah. Just make us a burger. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a burger. And I got these patties. Yeah. Ground beef is froze. I said, wow. 
I have to go to the store. Ain't God good? There was some frozen patties. 85.15. And that's what I'm going to use. So, yeah. I'm going to make these burgers. And then I'm going to rest. So, hold on. Let's put these burgers together. Okay, got my skillet here. And you know my... Okay, got my skillet on. And I'm going to put just a little oil in here. Because these are lean burgers. Yeah. So... And I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna do old school. The light bread. Yeah. So I could have ran out and got some buns. But I said, no, don't go do that trouble. I said, wow, they're making it easy on me. So I don't mean to have my back to you. I'm putting my burgers in there. Gonna put so many at a time. Okay. And I'm gonna season these. I'm gonna put some of this, yes, garlic, by Kimmy's garlic butter, nerd seasoning. Yeah, that's what I'm putting on here. I'm gonna put some onion powder. Some salt. And some pepper. That's all I'm going to do to it. I'm going to put a top on it. Like so. Hold on. So let me get my bread out.
Everybody likes cheese on their burgers. So, let me take some of these up. The ones are ready. That's the way they look. Yeah. I'm gonna put a few more down. Got two more in here. Gonna put the same seasoning, some of Kimmy's butter and garlic and herbs, some salt, black pepper. And some onion powder. Okay. Put a top on this. And let's get our bread made. Bread. Put two of these together. The boys are gonna put their own together. This is for the mister. So he likes mustard. That's his bottom. And I'm gonna apply a tomato to his. Mine is gonna be the same way, but I'm gonna add onions to mine. Now this is gonna be the one video that you don't see Tennessee North eat, because Tennessee North is not ready to eat yet. But I'm gonna show you Mr's plate. Like I said. And to the top bun, I'm add his ketchup. Okay, so I've just put some tomatoes on Mrs. plate. Tennessee North is not ready to eat yet, but I'm gonna make his. And so he has mustard on the bottom tomatoes. We're going to put ketchup on the top bun, or the top bread. This is, this is old school. Old school. Ketchup. And he doesn't like onions or lettuce. So we want to apply that to his. The boys, they don't do number ketchup, no mustard. They're grown. They're gonna do their own. 
And Tennessee North is going to put hers in the microwave and save it for later. Like I said, I'm tired. I'm not ready to eat. And here go the burgers. Yeah, they look pretty good. So let me put the misters together and I'll show it to you. Guess what? Tennessee North changed their mind. I'm gonna go and eat now. Cause I ain't coming back in the kitchen. I've already washed their dishes. That's what you didn't see during my pause. Oh, let me show you my burger. I have the mustard and ketchup mixed. Tomato. Onions. Yeah. And I also have a pickle. A pickle. Yeah. I mean, you see me going back and forth? I told you. Um, I'm taping with two devices in case for some reason this thing quits working it's like it's been doing. So, that's my meal. A simple old school burger on white bread and a pickle. Yeah. And a glass of Kool-Aid. And that part there. Let me speak to the Lord. Because I got to go lay down. Yeah. Amen. And amen. So I'm probably not going to eat all of it. But I'm going to take a few bites. And I'm going to put it in the microwave. If I get back up. I may. May not eat it. Let's see what it's like. Mm. I kind of prefer it on the um, white bread. I don't like a lot of bread in this pickle. Mm. It goes so well with it. What a burger. Mm. Kosher deal. Yeah. When I was a kid, they used to have these jars that sit on the uh, counter with the stores. And you could buy you a pickle. Very big old pickles. They were like a dime. And they'd take a, with no paper towels. Piece of plastic, or not plastic, but what do you call it? Wax paper? Wrap it up in. Mm hmm. And they were so good. Yeah, big old jar, like a big gallon jar. Yeah, they were, they were the, they were to the die for. We used to have little neighborhood stores. <clears throat> and at them little neighborhood stores, you could get anything.
to get credit, you know? Your mom sent you up there with a note. Um, get a dollar worth of bologna, dollar worth of liver cheese, dollar worth of sauce, and a pack of crackers. My mom, a 16 ounce Coke. Back then, kids could buy cigarettes out of the machine. The cigarettes was 55 cents. And you got a pack of, um, Matches. Put your money in there and you pull. Cigarettes fall out. And a little pack of matches come out with it. Just like the lottery machine. The slot machine, you know, you go up there and you pick what uh, scratch off you want. That's where the cigarettes used to fall out. It'd be like a $5 bill. And you could have what was left. You hear what I said, didn't you? What was left? You were able to get the liver cheese, the sauce, the bologna, and the crackers, and the cigarettes, and have change left. Ain't that something? Yeah. It was a two for a penny candy. Um, two for a penny cookies. Could get a Dover Cola for a dime, a 16 ounce one. You could get a lot of stuff. You had a quarter. Oh my God. Ooh, you was rich. And don't take none of them pop dollars back with you. No, oh, you was really going to do it. And don't forget the two packs of Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. Only took one pack. Took three to get a gallon. Isn't that something? It's all Tennessee and I'm going to eat right now. But I want to thank y'all for sticking in there with me. And, um,. It was by faith that I've gotten this far. I'm hanging on. Yeah. Matthew's 14, verse 36. The hem of his garment. Their faith. They are well. Have faith. If you like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Tell someone about Old Tennessee North. Yeah, if you like anything about this video, hit the notification button up in the corner so you'll know the next time. And you know it's going to be a next time. I shouldn't have any more holidays or anything or it's going to distract me right now. Yeah. I missed it. I missed talking with y'all. Yeah. Leave me some comments. I love reading them. 
And if I don't get to it, charge it to my head, not my heart. I try to read all of them. You family. Catch you on the next video. Bye now.